Is it the right time to buy or sell the SPY ETF? In this video, we'll be delving deep into the SPY ETF. Our initial report was published on our website on January 18, 2024, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and turn on notifications to stay up to date with our latest analysis. You won't want to miss any important updates that could impact your investments. Improve your trading decisions by trying out our newly launched AI stock analysis tool, powered by GPT-4, at stockinvest.us. Harness the power of artificial intelligence and receive free price predictions and in-depth analysis for any of the 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since November 2, 2023, our system has ranked SPY as a buy candidate, with a score of 4.19. Now, let's dive into the stock's performance during this period. If you had followed our analysis and invested in SPY 52 days ago, you would have enjoyed an impressive gain of 10.64%. That's an average return of 0.2% per day since we first listed SPY as a buy candidate. The ETF is currently experiencing a strong upward trend in the short term, indicating a potential rise in the future. Based on the three-month trend, there is a projected 14.96% change over the next three months, with a possible return between 12.96% and 18.29%. Looking at the 12-month trend, there is a forecasted 16.52% change over the next year, with a potential return between 4.09% and 17.43%. This suggests a price range of $495.98 to $559.56 after 12 months. Our latest update for the SPY ETF brings good news. On Thursday, the ETF experienced a green day and gained 0.89%. The SPY ETF price increased from $472.28 to $476.49 on the last trading day, which was Thursday, January 18, 2024. Throughout the day, the ETF's price fluctuated between a low of $472.43 and a high of $477.05, showing a 0.98% variation. Over the past two weeks, the price has seen a 1.64% gain, moving up and down. Notably, the volume of shares traded on the last day increased alongside the price, signaling positive market sentiment. A total of 18 million more shares were traded compared to the previous day, resulting in a total trading volume of 81 million shares, equivalent to approximately $38.43 billion. Looking at the past 52 weeks, the highest price for the ETF was $478.60, while the lowest price was $380.65. Currently, the price is 0.44% or $2.11 below the 52-week high. Additionally, it is 0.73% or $3.49 below the all-time high, which was achieved on January 4, 2022, when the price reached $479.98. Today, we'll be discussing the signals identified for SPY, the popular ETF. SPY is currently showing positive buy signals from both short and long-term moving averages, indicating a favorable forecast for the stock. Additionally, the relation between these signals confirms a general buy signal, as the short-term average is above the long-term average. In case of any downward corrections, there is support expected at $475.29 and $468.37. However, if the stock breaks below these levels, sell signals will be issued. It's worth noting that the volume is increasing along with the price, which is considered a positive technical signal. On the other hand, there have been some negative signals that could potentially impact the near short-term development. One such signal was a sell signal issued from a pivot top point on Thursday, December 28, 2023, resulting in a decline of minus 0.0420% so far. This indicates a potential further fall until a new bottom pivot is found. Additionally, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. However, it's not all bad news. The ETF had a golden star signal on Monday, March 27, 2023, in the long-term chart. This rare combination occurs when the short-term moving average, the long-term moving average, and the price line meet. 
It's often followed by significant gains for the ETF. Today, let's explore some interesting signals worth considering. The moving average convergence divergence indicates a sell signal. Pivots show a sell signal that occurred 14 days ago. Bollinger bands give a buy signal that appeared 20 days ago. A short-term moving average suggests a sell signal 3 days ago. A long-term moving average indicates a buy signal 53 days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages shows a buy signal 50 days ago. Now, if we take a look at the 12-month chart. The short moving average suggests a sell signal 3 days ago. The long-term moving average indicates a buy signal 47 days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages shows a buy signal 36 days ago. Remember to visit our page at stockinvest.us for more insightful signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for SPY SPY has a significant level of support at $469.33, which presents a potential buying opportunity. When this support level is tested, it is likely that the stock will experience an upward reaction. The ETF, in general, exhibits controlled movements and boasts good liquidity, making it a low-risk investment option. In the past day, the ETF has shown a range of $4.62 between its high and low, accounting for a 0.98% fluctuation. Over the course of the last week, the average daily volatility has been recorded at 0.86%. Today, we'll be discussing potential day trading levels for SPY. If SPY experiences an upward trend, the first resistance level to watch out for is at $476.51. If you don't currently own any shares, it might be wise to wait until this level is breached before entering a position. However, if you already hold the stock, this could be a level worth considering for swing trading. On the other hand, if SPY encounters a downward movement, it will face its first support level at $469.33. If this support level manages to hold, it could present a good entry point with the anticipation of a rebound. Today, we'll be discussing our recommended stop loss for this ETF, which is set at $457.40, representing a 4.01% decrease. This particular ETF is known for its low daily movements, which translates to lower risk for investors. Furthermore, we've identified a sell signal from a pivot top that was observed 13 days ago. Is SPY ETF a good buy? We have analyzed several short-term signals and observed a positive trend, indicating a potential buying opportunity for the SPY ETF in the short term. Additionally, our systems have determined that the current price is overvalued based on the volatility and movements of the last trading day. Looking ahead to trading on Friday, January 19, we anticipate that SPY will open with a decrease of minus $1.17, starting at $475.32. Before we begin, it's important to note that trading carries a significant risk of financial loss. It's always a good idea to consult with a financial advisor before making any decisions to buy or sell securities. And remember, stockinvest.us should not be the sole basis for your investment choices. By using the information provided, you acknowledge and accept your own responsibility for your investment decisions. Welcome to Stock Invest. Today, we want to hear your thoughts on our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Leave a comment below and share your valuable insights. We value your opinion. Also, we're curious about your target for the ETF. Let us know what you think in the comments. If you enjoy our content, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more valuable insights. We wish you all the best in your trading journey and hope you have a beautiful day. Thank you for being a part of the Stock Invest community.